of a newsflash. Naming a bill something doesn't mean it is so. And just recently, the Biden administration and Democrats in Congress passed the Inflation Reduction Act. And if studies now are saying it will not affect in, uh, impact inflation, it will most likely increase inflation. But let's just dig in on some of the policies that are included. $745 billion in new spending, over half of which is for the Green New Deal agenda. That includes $3 billion for, I quote, environmental and climate justice warriors, and $245 billion in the Department of Energy loans for other friends of, of the left. As gas prices increased 50% over the course of last year, President Biden's solution was to raise taxes on American oil and gas producers. And so we know that this will continue to affect constituents. They will continue to pay the price of higher, uh, the price, uh, higher price of gasoline uh, at the pump. And, and at this time, then, President Biden and congressional Democrats thought it would be a good idea to combat inflation by offering tax credits for high-end electric vehicles. Now, interestingly enough, and maybe unsurprisingly, a lot of those electric vehicle manufacturers that were set to benefit from those new tax credits immediately turned around and raised the prices of their vehicles, essentially wiping out uh, the value of the credit. Another way that they thought apparently would help inflation was to raise taxes on the middle class, including $53 billion in new taxes on Main Street and $10 billion in new taxes on those making less than $200,000 a year. Then adding salt to the wound, the bill spends $80 billion for the IRS to hire 87,000 new agents. By the way, any of us in, in our congressional districts know that the IRS has a problem. I've talked to constituents in my district who are still waiting for refunds from 2019. So I get it, the IRS may need some additional funding to help to serve their, uh, the, the American people better, but do you know there's 14 times as much money in this bill spent on increasing audits on everyday Americans rather than improving, than the money that's in for improving customer service uh, there at the IRS. There's a CBO analysis, the Congressional Budget Office, that we all rely upon, confirmed that those new agents will focus on extracting as many dollars as possible doing audits on the middle class. And despite the President's claims, half of those audit, audits will be in those making less than 400000 a year.